Gaius Julius Caesar, De Bello Gallico, Episode 15. In eo itinere persuadet castico, catamantaloides filio, sequano, quis pater regnum in sequanis multus annos, abtenuerat et asenatu populi Romani amicus appellatus erat, ut regnum in civitatis sua accuparet, quod pater ante habuerit. Itemque dumnorigi haeduo fratri duiciaci, qui eo tempora principatum in civitata abtenebat, ac maxime plebi ac captus erat, ut idem coneretur persuadet eique, filiam suam in matrimonium dat. In eo itinere, on that journey, he, meaning Orgetorix, persuades Casticus. Casticus is the son of Catamanta Lois. This is the genitive, the masculine singular genitive, and Castico Filio is dative, masculine singular dative, because the verb persuadet, being intransitive, goes with Castico and Filio, takes a dative. Moreover, Casticus was a Sequanan. He was from the tribe of the Sequani, whose father, Quius Pater, the antecedent of Quius being Casticus, and the Pater here refers to Catamantalois, whose father, the influence or the kingdom, control or power among the Sequani for many years, multos annos, accusative of duration of time, had held, so the father, the pater, of Casticus, had held power among the Sequani for many years, and asenatu, by the senate of the Roman people, so senatu is masculine, singular, and ablative, with the passive verb apolatus erat, and populi, populi Romani is masculine, singular, genitive. So, by the senate, amicus populi Romani apolatus erat, he had been called a friend of the Roman people, and this means a political ally. So now we return to persuadet, because all of this is modification of a type. He persuades Casticus, and now we get the object clause, ut occuparet. He persuades Casticus to seize power in his own state. Occuparet is an imperfect subjunctive in this ut noun clause. To seize the power, quod, which his father previously possessed. So the antecedent of quod is ardrignum, pater is the subject of habuarit, and quod is the object of habuarit. Similarly, likewise, and likewise, dumnorgi haiduo, persuadet, he persuades dumnorix, who is an aiduin or a haiduin. Dumnorigi, like costico, is masculine, singular, and dative, with the verb persuadet. He persuades Dumnorix. Dumnorix, moreover, is the brother, fratri, de Wikiaki. So in the same way that filio is in apposition with costico, so fratri is in apposition with Dumnorigi. And de Wikiaki is masculine, singular, and genitive. He persuades Dumnorix, the Haiduan, like costico sequano, the brother of de Wikiakis, who, now we get modification, who at that time possessed, ab tenebat, principatum, leadership in his state. Notice how ab tenebat echoes ab tenuerat, which he had used, Caesar had used, when describing the career and circumstances of Casticus. So, Dumnorix, who possessed the principatum and was very much maxime, liked, acceptable to the common people, plebi, masculine, singular, and dative, with this adjective acceptus. What did he persuade Dumnorix to do? Well, persuadet ut and persuadet ut, once again. Persuaded him to attempt, conoretur, the same thing. That is, the same thing that he had convinced, or Gedorix had convinced Casticus to do. And because the controlling verb persuadet is so far away, Caesar inserts it here again to remind us. So really, this clause, ut conoretur, is the object of this persuadet. Persuades him to attempt the same thing. And, que, gives to him, that's dot, and ae is masculine, singular, and dative. And the him here is dumnorix, and gives to dumnorix his own daughter for marriage in matrimonium. Very commonly, political alliances are sealed with a marriage within the family. This is an artist's rendition of a British druid. De Viciacus, the brother of Dumnorix, was a famous druid and visited Rome where he was a guest of Cicero. 
He appears as a character in Cicero's philosophical theological work On Divination.